What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, and I just got back from a card show, and as you can see here, I have a very small stack. Um, I didn't find any major, you know, fun PC finds today, um, but while I'm there, I'm going to try and make the best of the opportunity, because guess what, it's like, you know, driving to Tampa, that's an hour, it's an hour back, you've got tolls, so uh, it's not always a cheap trip, so just keep that in mind whenever I'm, I'm showing you these value box digs, but I want to show you what I got anyway, so I spent... $16 today and I feel like everything here is representative of five types of cards that you should look for in value boxes. So we're going to go right from the top here. The first type that you might want to keep an eye out for are case hits. Um, now unfortunately they don't say on the card, hey this is a case hit, right? There's no marking on there that says case hit. Um, I just happen to know that. This is a 2017 uh, Status Pursuit die cut parallel. Um, it, I got it in a dollar box. Truth be told, it's probably not worth a whole lot more than that, uh, but there are some players that will do fairly well, and, and there are people that are looking for these, so um, know your case hits, right? You have to study products, you have to study breaks, uh, understand which products uh, only show up every once in a while. Okay, um, the next category here would be just PC cards. So these are not necessarily cards that I'm going to sell, uh, or make a ton of money on, but uh, I picked up both of these relics here from former Globetrotters. So we had Marcus Haynes, and then we had Geese Ospi. Um, this was actually from a baseball set, but it was in with the basketball relics because he was a basketball player. Um, I actually have nicer cards of both of these guys, so I'm not sure if they'll stay PC forever, but as of right now, these are going to be PC cards. So um, that's one of those things, you know, if the price is right, just grab them if you think you're going to enjoy them. Okay, so that was type number two. Type number three, then, would be flippable cards. And, and just like the case hits, you just kind of have to know your stuff here. So if you're watching my videos, you're noticing some of the things I'm picking up that I think will do well, you know, try it out. See what you think will do well as well. Um, this, for example, um, a year or two ago, if I had looked through this same box, I would not have grabbed this card for $3. In fact, some of you are looking at this now and saying, who is this? Well, it's Ime Odoka who's the Celtics coach, and he doesn't have a lot of autographs out there, so this card is actually, it goes for like 20 bucks now. So I'm always excited when I find something like that because I'm turning two or three bucks into 20. Um, that adds up after a while, especially if you're having a down day at the show and you're not finding anything for your PC. So that was one of the flippable cards I found. Um, the other one was this. You know, a lot of people will look at this player, Orston Artis. You know, I can't tell you much about Orston Artis, but um, they did a series in this Hall of Fame set of the Texas Western players. And it's from one of the basketball movies. I think, don't quote me on this, I think Glory Road, uh, where they had the actual players signed in the set. And I grab one of these every time I see it in a value box because they typically sell, you know, anywhere between $15 and $30. So that was in, like I said, that was in a value box. That would be what I would consider a flippable card. All right, the next category then uh, would be jersey numbered stuff. And I don't even always grab that, but, you know, this was pretty cheap. It's a Jason Collins jersey card. Not, you know, not a huge following out there. He's number 35. I noticed it was 35 out of 99. Some people will pay a premium for that. Some won't. Um... You know, so this might not be a big money maker, but I, I like to keep this stuff on hand just in case someone has some Pacers jersey numbered stuff that I want. Maybe I can swap them out for their team. Um, and then the last card I don't have here. I'm, I'm going to have to put a picture up there, but I picked up a Rafer Alston uh, refractor relic, and that is that category is gifts for friends because I had a friend that sets up at this show that gives me Pacers stuff frequently, and he collects Rafer Alston, so. It was nice to be able to find one that he needed. All right, so let me run through those again real quick. It's not the only types of cards that you'll look for in value boxes, uh, but these are five that I would recommend. So you had number one, which was case hits. Number two, which is PC cards. Number three, which is flippable cards. Number four, I'm looking for jersey numbered stuff. And then number five, I'm looking for gifts for friends. So um, these are some things you might keep in mind the next time you go to a show. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.